hello beautiful souls welcome back to my channel this is the soul leader my name is solita um i wanted to make a quick quick video so something came to mind about when people apologize right pay attention to the type of apology that they give like if a person says to you i'm sorry for everything like check this out it was another video i was watching right that spoke up on this because I even said this in my own personal life to uh, someone a few months ago when I asked them, like, what are you sorry for? Because you can't tell me you're sorry for everything because if you're sorry for everything, right, if you know what everything is, trust me, people know everything they do. So if you know what that everything is, the reason why you sorry for everything because you don't want to talk about that everything, right? And a, a formal apology usually comes with i am sorry for you have to know what you're sorry for you cannot just tell someone oh i'm sorry because telling somebody oh i'm sorry is saying exactly what you are oh you are sorry if you cannot tell someone what you are sorry for you are therefore are a coward and i'm just telling you as in not saying you are the coward the person that can't even apologize to you is the coward right some people, I made a, a recent video talking about um, how people will rather ghost you instead of apologize for their wrongdoing, right? Allow them to do that because you don't need closure from people. And I've learned that um, in the past dealing with people too, even like what I'm dealing with now. Like you, the, the best closure you can give is the closure that you give yourself to no longer even want those people in your life, to no longer even worry about those people being in your life because they will walk themselves on up, out. Now... Sorry, but not sorry. I cannot stand that saying. But that is the one saying that I feel like using in this moment. Like this feels like a moment to say sorry, not sorry. Never feel sorry for standing up for yourself. Never feel star sorry for standing your ground. You know, sometimes when you stand your ground, when you're usually a person who you really don't like drama, but say like, all right, fences with me. I have a mouth if I get upset, right? And I know that when I'm in that moment, I can really go there, you know? But the only time when I'm going there, it's more so, not that it has to be done, but I found myself having to go that far just to prove, leave me alone, or don't bother me, or that you can't do this, or I won't tolerate that. I feel like when you do go that far, People will make you look like you're the crazy one. Will make you look like you're the one that's upset for no reason. They know why you upset. They don't even care that you upset. All they care about is making sure they look good. Long as they don't mess up their reputation. I'm telling you, they will record you. They will play coy in front of other people. They will sit up here and say slick things to try to, um, what is it called? Dang, the word was on the tip of my tongue. Um, deflect, you know. Pay attention to those people that don't even apologize. And when you talk to them about the things they've done, look how quiet they get. They get really, really quiet. I'm talking about have nothing to say. Look at the look on their face when you put them in their place. Trust me, I have learned it. And I'm going through it again. But this time I can deal with it differently. Now, I'm sharing with you that don't accept no apology from nobody who's sorry for everything. And they can't tell you what everything is. Don't accept no half apology. You need a whole apology because you are a whole person. Your feelings are valid and I'm validating your feelings right now. So if you do know when to put people in their place and when you and, and, and know when to be silent. There have wanna be times when you wanna have to stand up for yourself and you wanna have to be vocal. And then it's time you're gonna have to move in silence. You know? And I'm not gonna say that today had I performed completely well as uh I wish to. But it, it was a teaching moment. And it was a moment I was like, okay, let me get on here, let me share about when people aren't sorry so this video is all about um people being sorry for everything what are you sorry for that's the title what are you sorry for
You should never apologize for being you. You should never apologize for how you feel. You should never apologize because there isn't any reciprocity. You don't have to apologize. You don't have to carry the burden. Now I understand clearly what that word was saying to me. You don't have to carry a burden because it is not yours to carry. You know, so... For instance, like people out there who share children together and stuff. You did not make that child alone. So do what you need to do so that you don't have to carry that burden alone. Now, big us a bunch of people who I can do it on my own. Yes, I can. Yes, I say that same thing too. But what I'm saying is um, it's not about because you can, just because you can do something don't mean you have to do it. That's basically what that is. And I'm not saying, oh, go run, do this down to the uh, child or your uh, father, the father of your child or the mother of your child. I'm not saying none of that. No, what I'm speaking on is standing your ground and speaking up for yourself when you're not going to tolerate something. We don't tolerate disrespect. We don't tolerate lies and disloyalty. This place is a safe haven to express yourself, to come particularly if you don't really have anybody. Like I said, I'm always here to encourage, you know, um, I'm not perfect, but when something's on my heart to share and uplift somebody, I'm going to do it. Because even in my darkest moments, I'm still uplifting people when I have no one to carry me. The only one that carries me is the Lord, and that's all I will look to to carry me. No one no one, not ever. The Lord has shown me enough to show me to walk with him. Even like what I, I experienced today, a couple things. And I was like, Lord, I feel so bad for how I perform today. I feel so guilty. And he was like, but you wouldn't feel guilty if you would just pray. And so I did that. I feel 10 times better. That's what made me make this video. I was like, oh, because I was really like feeling bad. Like you're so upset with me. And Lord was like, I'm not upset with you. I don't like how you performed. I don't like how you act. You wasn't wrong for anything you said. You was wrong for how you act, for what you did. You know, and just having that relationship with God, that's enough for me. That's enough for me because I was really just sitting like, oh my gosh, I feel like I undid all that work that I just done in these past few years in a matter of minutes. But I really didn't undo anything. The point is about being self-aware, being aware but not to the point where it's though you just keep on doing stuff. No, that's the problem. You can't be stuck in the awareness part. I'm learning that too. You know, because even though a lot of the times I'm aware of my anger, there's been times I'm aware of it and I still act it. So that's what I mean. Don't don't get stuck. Um, so I'm going to end this video. It's a little under 10 minutes. Until next time, beautiful souls, let me help you. And together we can help one another. Peace out.